I am not buying anything until I have pictured and listed all my backlog. It did expand across all these shelves here. I've currently emptied all this lot. That's all pictured. All this is clothing and shoes and then this side, electronics, camcorders, etc. And I have until March, mid to end of March is when boot sales start. So that is my time limit to get this all pictured and listed. Until that happens, no boot sales, no charity shops, no nothing for me. We're gonna start this boot sale year fresh, clean backlog and then go from there so of course while i've been listing i've also been selling i've sold on ebay depop and facebook let's see what i sold how much i bought it for what it sold for how long it took to sell right let's get cracking we're going to start with the facebook one just the one order right on top here so this would have been listed on ebay depop and facebook and with all that competition it was facebook that got this sale this was from a charity shop owes me like three pound fifty sort of three quarter half length sort of zip sherpa fleece really cool item nice hit on the sleeve on across there and this is like a pocket as well which is really cool and netted really cool item look at that old tag love that size medium but would fit a large it looks more large to me yeah just such a cool item wanted to keep it but i'm in this business to sell i can't keep all my stock about three pound fifty from a charity shop and it sold on facebook they paid through paypal so just the minimal paypal fee sold 35 pound plus the three pound postage as well so absolutely awesome score listed for about a week or two we'll go to depop now two depop orders one going to australia and before we continue today's video is sponsored by flexispot and their flexispot standing desk e8 now i used to use just a put away table it was hurting my back i just sometimes want to stand up and just work and with the E8, it's the best of both worlds. It's fully controllable from the smart touchpad here. So it goes from as low as 60 centimeters off the ground up to a whipping 125. So it's the best of both worlds. I can sit down while working and then work while standing up. You save up to four saved positions in the memory. So see if the highest is too high for you, you don't wanna be fiddling with the numbers to get just right. You can save your pre-standard position, which I've already done. Just one tap of the standing, and then it sets it to 110, which I've set as my personal preference. And same again with my seating position, I've pre-saved it. One tap, seating position, and it will go down to where I saved it. There's a whole range of customizations available. I've gone with the ebony wood with the white frame. There's dozens of different variations and accessories you can add to your bundle. I've chosen the clamp power extension. It's a free UK plugs, USB and USB-C. It is solidly well-made. No cheap stuff, really nice heavy metal legs, really nice finish on the tabletop. Comes with safety features as well when you're going up and down. So if you're on the way up and something hits it, it automatically stops. Same again if you're going down, if someone's underneath, it then stops automatically, so there's no accidents. Also holds up to 125 kilograms, so someone like me can quite happily sit on it and up we go. I'm pretty sure I'm below 125 kilograms anyway. nice so thanks to flexi spot for sponsoring this video really really like the table low packed full of features loads of different accessories you can add all to yours today links will be down in the description below and uh happy tabling we'll start with this one first then again another charity shop pickup this is aston martin racing again owes me around three four pound not much at all that's embroidered aston martin logo with the aston martin racing on the chest there it's a really nice like rugby shirt like white yellow and green yeah unusual for a car brand to have a rugby shirt and we know it's a rugby shirt because on the buttons they're like rubberized obviously when you're playing rugby if a hard button hits you on the tooth that tooth is going to get chipped so yeah that's one way to tell rubberized buttons means it's like a rugby shirt plus the style as well charity shop onto depop 28.99 plus 16 pound postage but this is the one that's going all the way to australia so unlike ebay global shipping program where ebay sort all that out i just ship to ebay within the uk and then that's me done depop doesn't have anything like that so i am responsible for all the postage and we've got another rugby type top that's sold on depop so hot at the moment if you have got any rugby style tops the old top box. Ralphie, again, same thing with the rugby top. That so should have rubberized buttons. It's in the bag, but yeah, they're rubberized. Just a gray one, green horse or pony man. This was actually from a wholesale clothing box. I think I've had it about a year. I only listed these recently. As I said, going through all my backlog, starting with clothes and shoes. I think in the box, I was making about that same price range, three to four pound. 27.99 on depop white kenzo trainers these were on vintage for like 12 pound i think it was with the postage about say 14 pound all in uh, gone for 40 pound accepting an offer 
UK size nine. Again, another clothing wholesale bundle. I think the same one from, as that Ralphie that sold on Depop. I thought it'd be worth a lot more than it actually sold for. It went for 25 pounds. Again, owes me like the three, four pound mark. Uh, like Dodge, is it Dodge Viper? But like the car brand. It's like this fake leather um, like jacket, bomber jacket. And on the back here, Grab Life by the Horns, Dodge. I think there's a condition issue. Oh, here you go. The buttons on the front here, the poppers, one of them was missing the front uh, and a couple down there. So there's condition issues, not as old as I thought. Here you go. Obviously, we know about Levi's, True Religion, that sort of thing. This is another brand to look out for when you are looking through the jeans section. Scotch and Soda of Amsterdam. Just make sure these are the right ones. 32 regular Ralston. Uh, always check, obviously, the bottoms behind the heel. Should be all good. Again, that same price range again. Four pounds from a charity shop listed in January. So this is the first cycle. And I've gone for 29.99 plus 2.99 postage. When you're picturing jeans, always have handy a like, fabric uh, measuring tape, like a flexible one. Then just get the inside leg. So from the crotch down to the leg. Uh, yep, 32, so that's actually the correct size as it says on the label, because sometimes they can be off. Similar jacket to the faux leather Dodge, but this one got a lot better price. Here we go. Again, that same sort of look, black and red. Not Dodge this time, this one's Baleno, Baleno, Baleno. Not heard of the brand before, but this was in a charity shop. I think this was from Molden, like a clearance charity shop. Wasn't sure as I'm in an iron for ages because they were asking £15 even in a clearance. So a bit of research and in America, I think people are getting decent prices, um, but none in the UK really. Yeah, here you go, polyamide, polyester, not real leather or anything like that. This was listed in October. So within three months, just about, three months to sell, three cycles. So decent on my target so from a 15 pound it went for 59.99 plus three pound postage again it's a really nice markup within my three month limit another coat slash jacket that i just saw i believe it's just down here that's the one tommy hill figure i believe this was actually from a boot sale so not a charity shop again that was me three pound that price range again from a boot sale listed in september it's slightly longer than the previous coat it's like a Y2K era, especially women's, women's size 8, which is extra small, I believe, or small. Only owes me £3, so I was willing to take a risk. That sort of vintage Tommy Hilfiger, decent brand, and only £3, so yeah, I was always buying that. Going for £25.49, plus £2.99 postage, so decent markup again. Away from clothing, we've got a clock. Uh, this has been listed since last April, which is a massive surprise. Normally vintage items, especially clocks, sell really quickly. I think this was from Bernardo's, actually, in Chelmsford. I've paid £5, listed since April. I'm really surprised this has lingered. This mid-century sort of sunburst, starburst style. When we sell really quick and effectively, especially on Etsy, but it was eBay that got the sale eventually. £5 item, it's a 45 99 plus postage, so worth it in the end. But ideally, for £45 sale, I don't want to be waiting almost a year. Another name for you to look out for while you're in the charity shops, if you haven't got boot sales at the moment. This one. I remember how to say this because I say Luigi, but it's Claudio Lugli. Lugli? Lugli? <laughs> Made in Italy, slim cut shirt. But it's just an Italian sort of formal party shirt, sort of a bit more extravagant. Like this one's black and white with stripes and floral designs and leaves. Yeah, it looks really cool. Not my style, but um, I've sold a few of these now and they always sell strong. Uh, it's gone for £29.99, so a decent markup again. That's a pair of brown shoes now. Pair of Paul Smiths, originally £215. Look at that. That's my ad. Who's paying up for new shoes? Who's buying them and then I'm getting them for £12 and then selling them for £40 plus £2.99 postage. Sort of like, not a brogue, but just like a leather shoe in a size 10, made in Italy, quality shoe. All the dogs are kicking off. Why are we kicking off? Shush. Trying to film me. <laughs> Oh, now next door's dogs are kicking off. Great. <laughs> Got his box, which is a bit knackered. Seen better days, falling apart, but it's still there. So I included it. Another pair of Fox shoes, but these ones are brand new from a retail store this time. Um, let me just make sure these are the right ones. No, they're not the right ones. Uh, here we go. Right, here we go. A pair of brand new vans, freshly boxed, unworn. Here we go, lovely jubbly. Size 10 in a mustard color. Just like the classic low tops. See with the tags on. 
and from a retail store that isn't TK Maxx. I won't say what store it is, I'm in agreement with another reseller that I wouldn't give away where I got these from because uh, there's an untapped market somewhat but they owe me £10. £10 for brand new vans and they've gone for £45.99 plus the £2.99 postage. Just so easy, brand new, picture it, list it, get all the information obviously on the box so I can look it up, copy and paste online onto my eBay listing and sell. There we go. This item is really, really nice. I listed this literally yesterday and it sold within an hour or two. It is Nike. 6.0 it's a discontinued um sort of section of nike uh, i think it's like the six extreme sports so like snowboarding skiing bmxing something like that i can't remember it precisely but yeah discontinued and it's sort of like nike dunk but it's not but yeah it's sort of y2k era this is like a corduroy skater jacket breast pocket zip up such a nice jacket going vinted for 10 pounds 10 pounds, someone sold this on Vinted. It's gone for 49.99, 50 quid, plus the postage. Listed yesterday, sold within two hours. Amazing, really cool, Nike 6.0. Yeah, look out for it. Back to the boots house, something else I was putting off listing for ages uh, because they needed a good wash. Uh, only listed last week as well, there we go. Pair of football boots from Boots House. I think this was my Sunday second boots house, the later one on the hard standing ground. A pair of Nike Kaiser 5s, classic football boot, always going to sell out. Made in Germany. But some of them, I don't know if it's these, but they are made of kangaroo leather, which is harder wearing and that asks a premium price. Uh, I picked these up for £5, they're caked in mud, uh, whacked them in a washing machine on a low wash, bit of friendly detergent, got out all the mud. I could have used a toothbrush or a brush or something like that. But I couldn't be bothered with that. They're naturally dry and they're all good to go. Uh, five pounds into 45.99 plus postage again. Like I said, listed last week, sold during the weekend. So such a quick seller and a strong seller as well. Another boot sale pickup and a broken item that I've still sold and parted out. Uh, this one. This was towards the end of the season. I picked this up. It was like a Bose sound speaker system. The whole lot owes me five pound. Came with the power leads, came with a remote control. I was in the main unit and an official Bose bag as well. I sold the remote control on its own. I can't remember what I got. The power adapter, I split out, sold it on its own. Again, that got like 15, 16 pounds. I was left with a faulty unit. So yeah, couldn't test it. I don't know if someone could fix it, but even if things are broken, especially if they've got a decent name on them, Bose, decent brand, uh, even with the old, old, old iPod dock. Still sold, £11.50 plus, what's that postage? £3.99 postage, so all in all got £15.49 before eBay fees. So instead of just recycling it, chucking it away, getting no money, I've managed to uh, make profit from it. Was he got the accessories, sell them off, they're worth good money, and then the main unit, someone might try and fix it or something. Not really sure, or might want a spare part of this. Maybe they've got one and the grill's knackered, so they might take the grill off, for example. Uh, yeah, but there you go. Don't throw away your broken electronics. Right, we've got a double sale now. Double Burberry sale, which is really nice. Uh, they'll be in the shirt section. I'll quickly whip them out. Bought a load of Burberry shirts, like 40 shirts from a wholesale company. And with a deal they had on at the time, each one owes me like a fiver at max. And I had 40 of them. So it's quite a lot to list and picture in that, all different sizes. But then it only took me like, a day or two to list all 40 of them it was a sale sim and I changed the details, the size, colour, etc. And just sit and wait for them to sell. I think I started high at like £40 and again after three months been reducing the price and everything like that. Uh, these have gone together. So someone got both of them for £40 plus £2.99 postage. You see they'll still go as a small parcel, nice and easy. Uh, £20 each. So again if one if they owe me like four or five pounds each. I've got 40 quid. I'm down to my last few pairs now, so they're starting to linger. Just want to get rid of them. I could have been on there about half a year or so. So yeah, I want to clear the rest of them now, ready for boot sale season. And a sale's just come in, a really nice juicy sale. Uh, boot sale and it's three figures. Just down here, I'm not sure how long it's been listed, but this was from my midweek boot sale. Oh, that's the one. Really nice leather coat. This is Nicholson Tex-Mex, like a suede leather coat. 
Really nice big size. I think it's a large or extra large. I don't go large. Really nice brown leather. I got it for fifteen pounds. I think it's one of them. I was I'm in R in. I knew Nicholson was a good name. By the time I was being more selective, I think I remember because I was overpacked in here. But went on my experience of buying and selling. I knew Nicholson was a good name. The material's good. Nice brown suede leather. The inside was like a Mexican type blanket design. There you go. Sort of like cotton design with this pattern. Looks really nice. I think he was asking 20 originally, got him down to 15. Hasn't been listed too long actually, when I started listing all my coats and jackets sort of around October, November time. So like at the start of the video, around that time, three or four months to sell. My 15 pound has turned into 120 pound plus postage, um, 3 99 because it's a bit bigger and heavier. Uh, they sent an offering as I was about to start filming saying 120 pound offer and then in the message they said, they need it quite soon, so if I can dispatch it quick, then they're happy to buy and pay now. So obviously, accepted it now. I even sent a message separately saying I'm packing. So this will be out today, and that's what sealed the deal. 120 quid, happy days. And nice way to start a new payout week on eBay. On eBay, I do weekly payouts. So Tuesday to Tuesday, whatever builds up in my eBay then gets transferred to my bank account. At the end of the month, whatever's in my bank account, my business one, I then transfer to the personal account. And then that's what pays the bills and my ammo to go out sourcing again. But no sourcing, like I said, until all this has been pictured, listed and hopefully sold.